So I've been going at it uh, with the crescent wrench so far and uh, it's not ideal and I was wondering like the whole time I was doing this what else do I have that could work and I did try a few things uh, I just thought of this guy so if you do have a tap set for those oblong pen it actually works it's a lot more comfortable for the hands as well back row uh, for now just because uh, first of all I couldn't really get into it with this one and I was waiting to find a better option so this one will most likely work uh, but at the same time I want to keep them for now just to find where the gauge change so another step I need to do right now is uh, the dampers so right now the dampers are that's the max height uh, in order to change that I have to remove this piece here that stops them from going up so before i take it out i want to make sure that i know exactly where uh, the height is of those uh, dampers because i'm gonna have to readjust them so i'll put a line here so this was a line for the extra length of my strings uh, to coil them around the pin and this is uh, the line for the height of the dampers on top here Here you can see there's treads so the upper section is threaded into the bottom section and this bottom section is kind of stuck there from uh, it's hard to see I can't I can't really even see on the back there so uh, we're gonna unscrew uh, those ones
sticky now. Like the shellac, so it is shellac. So I'll be able to put another coat on top. So are you gonna have to um, sand it or can we just reapply? No, I, I could, I, I just need to clean it properly and then I can reapply right on top of that. That's great. Yeah. As long as it's cleaned properly. But. So I'm using denaturalized alcohol to clean the finish, which is shellac. And we'll definitely do a better job, but just wanted to see how well this was gonna work. At this point in time, I've got uh, all the strings removed. Uh, as you saw in the video, I tried uh, the denatured alcohol to clean the soundboard after I vacuumed it and uh, kind of cleaned it up with a dry rag. And it seems like it's gonna be working quite nicely. So uh, I'm gonna wait to go ahead with that. I wanna remove those two uh, support bars and I also want to remove the other pins that are too close to those bars as well. So I've ordered a, an actual special tool that's got a smaller head and I'm going to try to loosen them with that. Uh, all the pins that are broken, I had six or seven that were like really stuck all in the same area here. So uh, those ones obviously will have to be drilled out. Uh, and I've ordered a ready rod uh, to replace uh, that, so I, I'll, I'll have to make my own, so I'm going to try that first. I'm already looking online, I've, I went through a lot of uh, sites and, and piano forums in, in search of finding pins for that, so if, if you do have some, please let me know, uh, I'm willing to, to buy them off of you. Uh, so. Uh, three broken pins, so I'm, I, I, I've got a few ideas on how I'm going to take those out, but I'll do that in a further video. Also coming up, uh, we're going to have to deal uh, with the cracks. When we bought the piano, uh, we had the one crack for sure, uh, maybe two. Uh, it's starting to split. The piano's been in the basement now for about, uh, I would say, two months roughly, and we can see more and more cracks uh, showing up. So before we put the strings back on, I, I really want to dry up the, the soundboard and, and find all the cracks and make appropriate repairs uh, where they need to be. So, um, so when those are out, uh, I'll have a better access. I also want to clean up the bridges and I've ordered uh, felts and damper material and all of that is coming. So the bass strings are all done. I will have those probably next week. Uh, so it doesn't really matter since uh, we got a lot more work, but I'll be able to kind of visualize uh, uh, the length and make sure that they fit properly. And also, uh, the, all the single ones need a little piece of felt um, sewed at the end where it goes over the bridge. So I'll be able to do that prior to installing the strings as well. Also, the section down here where the dampers uh, uh, attach to, uh, 
I am actually thinking of taking this section out as well, just like for cleanup and uh, and make sure everything's functioning properly. So uh, probably within the next video, uh, I'll have a look at that. So so far the feedback on this uh, restoration is very good. Uh, so I'm I'm 100% going to continue posting those videos. Uh, first of all, for myself and my wife to keep tabs on the whole process to, to have that to look back like a, a personal journal but I'm also really happy that people are enjoying watching it and also that people are uh, giving advice and, and some people actually on, on some uh, groups on Facebook have done those types of restoration and it's really helpful for me to be able to uh, bounce ideas and uh, check what they've done because some people have broken pins as well so so once again i want to thank you all for stopping by and watching this video and until next time i wish you well